just hope Microsoft doesn't sue me for this logo modification. Hello. It's time to talk about Microsoft Excel, the product with more than half a billion users around the globe. I cannot imagine anything that you do with the computer and you really don't need Excel. From Wall Street, financial reports, to even I've seen companies with the engineering work that they do all their engineering calculations on Excel, although very slow. But it does a job. So when you're working with Excel, as long as you know how to do things, uh, sky is the limit. Today, we want to add a new limit to this sky, which is calling the flow directly from inside Excel. So basically, the trigger is going to happen when you are working inside Excel. And it's not just like an automatic trigger that you make an update and it fires something. No. This is the time that from inside Excel, you pick a row and you pass it to a flow. Let's see how this can be done. I am so excited about this one. Okay, now jokes apart, why do we need to call flow from Microsoft Excel? Let me give you an example. Probably you can relate to something in your own work environment. Imagine I have the inventory list of a chemical lab. So they have some chemicals, they have the concentration, blah, 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 some information. And also they have the quantity and the date expired. Something like that can be very easy. It's a small lab and people are working with it. But now, every now and then, every month, every week, every quarter, someone needs to go there, check and see what needs to be disposed and what needs to be back ordered. Maybe there's a special request, there's a special order from our client. For example, we need more acetic acid. So do we have enough of it? No, we have only 2.5 liters. We probably need more for that specific request that we have our client. But regardless, something like this happens quite often. So you have a list that you want to go through it and you need to decide what to do with each item. Do you need to dispose it? Or maybe you need to place order for that inventory item. So in this case, we want to take this Excel sheet and we want to create a flow that when I'm working on this row, for example, I can say, okay, we need to place order for this. And as the lab manager, I need to be able to select this, maybe put a quick note and say send. And it should go through the flow. It may need to even connect to my financial system, to my ordering system, to anything, or even an email to someone who needs to take care of this request. Let's see how we can do it. So basically, we want to have a list of the items, in better word, an Excel table that I can select one row and pass it directly to Flow. Exactly the same way that inside SharePoint, if you are familiar with it, we can actually select a list item or we can select a file in a SharePoint library and run a Flow attached to that. So this is exactly the same thing. So in this example, we want to create a flow that is attached to this Excel sheet. And for the user that is working with this file, that's, that user must be able to select a row and submit this row with some additional information to a flow to take the future steps. Are you ready for that? The very first thing that I want to do is to add a flow to my Excel. So just make sure you create a new dummy file. It doesn't matter what it is. And we click on Insert. Under Insert, we need to go to Excel Store. So basically, we click on Get Add-ins. And inside the add-ins, I search for Flow. We have an add-in to Excel called Microsoft Flow for Excel. I click on Add. And it explains the license and all those things. I don't care. I click on continue. And all of a sudden, I have Microsoft Flow button under Data tab. So this is the first thing that I need to do. Then I need to 
upload the file to either SharePoint Online or OneDrive. Let me go to SharePoint and show you where my file is. So inside SharePoint, under the Flow Course website, I click on Documents and I create a new folder and I call it Excel Demo Create. And I click on Excel Demo. It's an empty folder. And this is the Excel file that I have. I need to upload it to SharePoint Online. So I just close this. I get the file from its local location, drag and drop it onto the server in the folder that I want to have it. So the file is there on SharePoint Online now. The next thing that I need to do, Excel doesn't mean anything to Flow. Always, if you want to add something to Excel, we add it to Excel table. If you want to monitor something inside table, we monitor an Excel table. So unless we convert that sheet to table, we cannot really connect to that. To do that, I click on here and I go to open. This time, instead of opening it in the browser, we open it in the app. I want to directly open it in Microsoft Excel. So we open the file, edit workbook, and now I can select this area and I click on format as table. Whatever the format, it doesn't really matter. My table has headers and we're all good. So we actually created a table inside Microsoft Excel that can monitor these values. And we just save it. Now this is time to get to work. Let me just close this file and we go to flow.microsoft.com. I click on create and I want to create an instant flow. I click on skip and I want to create everything from scratch and I call it place order chemicals. Now, for the trigger that it's going to start, I search for Excel and Excel Online for Business for a selected row. Keep in mind that this is not an automatically triggered flow. This is the flow that we are manually triggering this. I pick the location. For the location, I go for the site that I have. If I cannot remember, I click on Enter Custom Value. Again, we get the URL of the site, paste it here. Then I can pick the document library. If you remember, I uploaded it to documents, but the file is not in the root folder, so it's under Excel demo and it was chemicals inventory. As soon as I pick this, it can detect there is a table inside it. Of course, by default, it's table one. We could change the name of the table. You better do that in your real life. But at the moment, I didn't do that. So I just pick table one. So at the moment, I have a flow that I can manually fire from Excel. Not only the fields that they are in the table are coming to Power Automate, I can even add more fields. So I can say, amount to order and I can also add another field called comments. So my flow is watching an Excel sheet. Inside that Excel sheet, it's watching a specific table and other than the fields in the table, it's asking the user for two more fields. If you want to place order what is the amount of the order? And there was a reason that I put it as text because the unit of measurement is not clear. But regardless, you could add more and more fields. That's up to you. Also add comments. Now let's send an email. Office 365 Outlook, send an email. And if I click here, I should be able to set something dynamic content. I have the user email select. So the user who fired this flow will, will receive an email 
and subject says order received and in progress. I really don't want to go any further. I just want to show you that it fires and it sends the email. Anything else that you want to add after that, by all means, go for it. So here I just want to add a little bit of more information. Order of, I would say, amount is going to be amount order and comments. I want to add the comments that the user entered. And maybe I want to add CIS number for a little bit more convenience. Okay. We will update you once the order is complete. And you know, we are not going to send anything in this example, but of course, in the next steps, you may want to <coughs> send this information to an ERP, to an online ordering system, or to someone who can manually process this order. The rest is not my problem. The only thing that I want to focus on at the moment is that with this guy, we can manually fire the flow from Excel. And now let's go to Excel and fire it from there and see how it works. To do that, I go back to my SharePoint. You have to open it from your app. Browser does not let you do that. So open an app. Hopefully soon we will do that from browser, but at the moment you gotta wait. So I have this guy here. I go to edit workbook. It doesn't really matter. I want to order acetic acid. So I put the cursor here. I click on data tab. So this is the row that is supposed to be taken care of for the order. When I select this, I click on flow. At this moment, Excel connects to Power Automate and gets the list of flows that they are attached to this. One of them is place order. Of course, you can have countless number of flows here. The one that we have is place order chemical. And if I click on run, this is the interesting part. Well, this is the first time that I'm running it. So it wants to get my confirmation that it's connected to Excel online. It's connected to Office 365. I'm good. Continue. Amount to order, I would say 12 liters. And if I scroll down, comment, we have a special order from our client this month. So this order is urgent. And I say run the flow. Done. So I just close this and I'm done with this item and I go to the next item. After I'm done, I just close it and I leave. Okay, let's say if we got the email or let's track it inside Microsoft Flow. So I go inside Flow and I go to the list of my flows. Click. Execution succeeded. If I open this, this guy, you will see the email that we received, order of whatever amount, comments, and blah, blah, blah. So I have all the information. See if we receive the order inside email. I open Outlook. And here is my order. And now you can manually fire a flow from inside Microsoft Excel. And that was all about it. I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Now it's your turn. Take it to your business users and show off what you can do with Excel and how you can add new horizons to the capabilities of Microsoft Excel. Thank you for watching. Check my Udemy course catalog. And if there is anything else that I can help you, feel free to put it in the comments below. 
Stay safe.